Violet Shack. How are you? There you are. There you are. What did you think about TNA tonight? It's been a long time since we got to just discuss uh, the world of wrestling the way that you like to do it. Well, I'm going to uh, bring, no, bring this up. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to talk about this in a roundabout way. I got some stuff on my mind, and I just want to—I want to clear my uh, clear the air here. I just want to talk about not too long ago, great men crisscrossed this nation. Men like Terry Funk and men like Harley Race, and they always had a beer in hand, and they always lived like men, the king of men. And uh, they might get pulled over from time to time, and the police might say, "Oh my God, champ, I'm sorry, I fucked up." But when a great celebrity <laughs> like Violence Jack gets pulled over, the cops say, "Yeah, we've been looking for you. We've been looking for Violence Jack. We hear you on, we hear you on the internet. We hear you on Awesome Bomb. We know you're driving drunk constantly." They turn this book animal number once and say, "I'm not happy about it." And then, then they have the audacity to take guys like Gregory Helms and Chris Jericho, and they, they're trying to make examples out of them. And even though, even though they're on the other team, it's not right. Well, listen to me. Uh, let me tell you something. They're, they're, they're oppressing you guys because you're fighting for your right to party. You have a right to party. You have a, you got a right to. The human rights are begging to the cops, please protect us from these animals. Please let us live in a playpen. Well, it's not a fucking playpen, and it's never been. Hey, well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I, I mean, we watch these shoots. You, you watch these shoot videos from like RF video and stuff, and you hear about you hear all these old timer uh, wrestlers, dude. I mean, people shit talk wrestling and shit, you know, and, and say whatever they want about it. Say it's low life or whatever. But these these fucking guys were drunk all the time, drinking and driving. They would get cases and cases of booze to to take on their trips with them and drink and drive. What what better lifestyle is there than that? Can you imagine? I mean, you're just drinking and partying, fucking, and then fighting for like ten minutes of a night, and then you're on to the next uh, town where you're drinking, boozing, fucking, and then fighting for ten minutes a night. What kind of uh, life would be better than that? Well, we're the last of a dying breed, Sensei. Fuck, I guess. I mean, these cops just fuck. You, you see what those motherfuckers got arrested for, Jericho and uh, Helms, for being too drunk in public. What does they that got out mean? for. I don't know. Mean? I don't know because I mean I could be I could be getting arrested every fucking minute. I don't even understand what that is. I, I mean I, 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 outrage. I think I, I don't know if I need to write Obama or write my congressman, but I want this fucking country back. This country that was founded on criminals <laughs> who had had enough of you know bureaucracies and crybabies wanting to make them safe. The cops used to beg up. They used to beg off for me, and now now they're catching me. Making me look like the bad guy. Listen, uh, the the world's become very very much pussyish. There's no no party animals. I hear these motherfuckers talk about being drunk a lot of times. These guys, man, I was so drunk. But somehow they seem to remember everything that happened. They don't obviously they don't even understand it. So that's the kind of people we're dealing with. You're talking about the guys that, man, I got wasted last night, and I mean he remembers everything. He had three beers. Man, I was wasted. You know, he's not talking about a real party Viking, a real party animal, like uh, like you and me and Chris Jericho and Hurricane Hell. Uh -huh. You know, the, the fucking cops ask Violet Jack, they ask him how many beers he had, and Violet Jack says, who, who the fuck knows? I'm not counting. You mean today or yesterday? <laughs> well, I know. Hey, hey listen. I straight line, and I say, where the fuck do you want the line? I'll try to walk it. You we're, we're talking. You the straight line, and I will walk this line. Well, listen, brother, I'm like TNA. I crossed the line. And I didn't mean to say brother. I meant to say daddy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, interject daddy more into my, uh, into my speech patterns because of the – yeah, I, because after, I, after I edited up all the, uh, all the midget pro wrestling, I wanted to – after I saw Little Nasty Boy's promo and he was using daddy and daddy and daddy, I wanted to use that more myself because I thought that was really cool. I mean, do you think it would be cool if I use it, or should I should I not think about doing that? Here's the deal: Lil Nasty Boy uses it. Bill Alfonso uses it. What two better, uh, you know, uh, what two better champions of the word daddy do you need? <laughs> so that's what I think too. But you know, our friend Mr. California, he calls me, or, or I talk to him on the phone, and I say, "Hey, Daddy, what's up?" And he says, "What are you, gay?" So that's what my he says that's that's what my wife calls me when I'm fucking her. <laughs> he doesn't 
he doesn't understand southern southern wrestling culture, right? I mean, that's got to be it. I mean, that can well, only be the only. Mister California doesn't get a lot, but that's okay. He's he's one of the all right ones. <laughs> but man, dude, for this show today, let me tell you, man, I got. I know, I know you haven't been on uh, when I played. Uh, we had Sexy Eddie on. You were on, but you weren't on when I played him, the Billy Jack Haynes stuff, were you? Uh, no, no. Well, yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah, I was because uh, he, he kind of scoffed at my conspiracy theory that, uh, that Vince is snuffing out the Canadians one by one. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, but I want to play that again because I know there's uh, – when we do these shows, we do these shows where we just bring up conspiracy theories and stuff like that. I'm going to tell you already, the fucking phone lines are pretty much packed, but we won't be touching them because last night, dude, last night, you couldn't believe it. I flipped, I had to flip out from the show last night from these people calling. Hey, I mean, are people just retarded or what, man? I mean, I, mean, I know, and I, and I get it, and, and, I, and I really feel for a guy like Vince Russo. I know you don't like him, but he wrote a, he wrote a thing that I couldn't see. He wrote this this thing, and I'm sure you probably read about it. And a lot of these idiots, I mean, uh, would listen to this show or obviously reading it too. But he wrote a thing like some asshole on some site timed the amount of wrestling there was on a on a TNA show, right? Right. And, and it's like, okay, well, you've got to be a real nobody, nothing happening kind of fucking person to do that. And that was Vince Russo's. Vince Russo's point was that, and that, I believe that too. I'm like, man, you got to be a no, you got to have nothing going on in your life to fucking sit there and do that. I have my business, uh, Benny Rue, but uh, but Daddy, let me tell you, I think that he's making a big mistake by uh, even talking to these fucking marks and trying to explain himself. He needs to explain jack shit to these people. He's the one with the job; they're not. Well, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. But I mean, he called. He said something. You know, he just said some stuff, and then he had to backtrack and apologize about it and stuff like that. But it's like when I I read the first, the initial thing, and it's like, dude. Well, I mean, you watch the fu- just watch a fucking TV show. When you watch Lost, do you fucking sit there with a stopwatch to figure out how many minutes each character gets, or you know what I mean? Like, or do you just watch it and go with it and? And then the next day, you forget about it. I mean, do you have to remember every fucking piece of everything in order to like wrestling? Do you have to remember every angle or every whatever the fuck they call story? Well, and the problem is with these uh, with these fucking idiots is, you know, they want to shit on everything before anything even happens. They want to shit on every storyline, like, oh, AJ Styles, I can't believe he turned bad. He's not, I can't believe he's going to be like Ric Flair. It's like, you don't even know where this is going yet. You don't even know where this is going. This is after after a minute and a half of AJ Styles being a heel and everybody shitting on it, saying there's no way he can get over as a heel. And how do you fucking know? You're already talking about him, so he did already get over because you're all pissing and moaning all over the internet for everyone. <laughs> well, see, this is this is the, this is the thing that we go through a lot of times uh, just between us, not even on the show or anything like that. Because you read what these fuckers say. I don't even know where you go to look at wh- what the fuck they're saying. But you, you read this feedback on, these, on this shit, and then you tell me about it, and I can't even believe it. It's, uh, what the fuck are people watching? They can't be watching the same thing I am. I know, they, I know in the Impact Zone uh, during that first show, or, or uh, whatever, was it the pay-per-view when they, they changed the ring and the, the crowd was saying, we want six sides, and then, added, like, everybody started flipping out about the six-sided ring and, and shit. It's like, I don't really care one way or the other, but I, on TV, I think the four-sided ring looks way fucking better. I, I think these assholes just want to, they want to complain no matter what. And the only people on the internet. I quote, they would say constantly, and I quote, six-sided rings make them look Bush League. They get rid of six-sided rings, and it's like, oh, I miss the six-sided ring. That's what made them unique. You know, you can't have it both ways. What the fuck? And the number one thing now that they're saying look the Bush League is the ramp that goes straight to the ring. And as an avid fucking uh, fan of the Clash of the Champions, the old 